we go to uh, out in the streets of York um, on a Sunday morning. Um, we you know walk around to find anybody, any homeless with with pets, um, and approach them to obviously and see if we can do a health check on the on the pet. So it's looking at eyes, ears. Um, see if they've been vaccinated, fleed and wormed, which is really, really important, and see if they've got any other illnesses or anything else we can help them with. So they get a full um, clinical examination by the vet. Um, and it's trying to get that rapport and that, you know, so we can see them every month as well. We don't want them scared off. We want to, preventative health is a continual thing. It's just a one-off. The, their pet is their, sometimes can be their only friend. Um, it can be the, the that's companion. It gives them something to get, you know, to obviously, um, get up four in the morning, you know, to actually, you know, it gives them something to, to do and the, the pet relies on them caring for them. I think they probably care for their pet more than they do the care for themselves. Um, you know, if they only had one meal, they'll probably give it to, to, to the, the pet. Um, and it gives them a purpose. Come into, the, come into a practice, they'll be frightened that, you know, will, will they get the pet back? Are we going to take it off them? Um, because people might judge them, can they care for their pet? If they if they can't care for themselves um, or afford to, to care for themselves. So it's more of um, being frightened, really, I think. Um, not that they don't want the pet to be treated and have the best care. That isn't the case at all. It's more of a fear. So they're trying to get um, street paws throughout the country, um, which is, you know, it's a great target to work towards because, you know, there's homeless people. Um, is Homeless people have risen over the years. Um, and obviously, you know, some people can't get any rent anywhere or actually get anywhere with pets sometimes so they have no other choice but actually to stay on the street um so i think that's the ultimate goal really to make sure that every animal deserves um you know at least preventative or some treatment is doing fundraisers is doing anything that we can um you know we you know we're obviously looking at doing an open day this year um obviously there'll be stuff where we can try to come up with some ideas to fundraise i know that they actually uh, street paws did some christmas packages at christmas 